create a one-page website with Card, you can go to card.co, or if you'd like to support this channel, use the link in the description below. You can create a website for free using Card, but the pro plan is only $19 per year, which allows you to connect the custom domain and gives you access to all these additional features. Creating a one-page website with Card is really, really easy. What we're gonna create today is one of the section pages that actually looks like it's multiple pages. It's just one long page, but certain parts of the page will be hidden at any given time. This video is sponsored by Porkbun.com, the best domain registrar according to USA Today, and also our top domain registrar for 2024. You can find out more about Porkbun in this video you'll find in the description below. For a dollar off the purchase of a new domain or off the transfer of your domain to Porkbun, use the link below or enter the code to fix code 24 at checkout. You'll come to a page that looks something like this. No need to create an account right now. You can just click on choose a starting point. If you want to get started from scratch, you can click on blank canvas and you'll come to a blank page and you can go and add all the elements you like and create your own custom website from scratch. But I'd rather start with one of their templates. Let's go back. You can see they have a bunch of different templates. Some of them are gonna be pro, the rest you could be using with their free plan, but card is really inexpensive. Their pro plan is just $19 per year. You can sort the templates by profiles, landing pages, forms, a portfolio, and then they have the section called sectioned. Card builds one-page websites, but the sectioned ones essentially have a one-page website, but most of it is hidden, and essentially works like having several different pages to your website. That's what we're gonna create today. The one that I wanna create today is one of the pro templates. So to use one of the pro templates, you'll need to start a seven-day free trial and then upgrade after that. Otherwise, just build your website with one of the non-pro templates. The first thing I want to do is add an image, click on upload here and select the image I want, select the part of the image that I like to use, click on accept. One thing you may want to double check is on different screens, maybe my head gets cut off. So if you scroll through any of the things along the left hand side, right now we're looking at the image itself. If you click on the paintbrush, you have the formatting. So right now the position is centered. So it's gonna be the center of the image vertically. But what we may wanna do is select top. And then so it's basically to take the top of the image and put it at the top of where the image displays. And so the top of the image will always show up. Maybe my hands get cut off, but not too big of a deal. All right, so we got that. Let's close this section. One other thing to keep in mind, whenever you want to add something, you can just click the plus icon. Here's all the different things that you can add to your website. Text, image, video, audio, gallery, timer, slideshow, widget, form, divider, table, icons, links, buttons, lists, etc. But let's just continue updating everything. So this text will be my name, JJ Thalen. If you want to update anything, you can use the markdown format in here. If you put two stars on both sides, it would be bold. This is what it would be for italic, bold italic, underline, etc. All right, that's good. Click on done. I am not a multiverse analyst. I am a YouTube expert. And then the text section, just click on the text, highlight the text that we're going to change. Would you like my help growing your YouTube channel? And so these buttons are what we're gonna to use to take us to the other pages of our one page website. All you're gonna see for the home page is this section and these icons and the all rights reserved. And then where you see these dotted lines are the separate sections of the website. So we have work, we have about, and we have contact. And uh, lastly, we have contact done, which is where it would take somebody after they fill out this form. But let's go and make a couple of changes here because these aren't gonna be the names we're gonna use. So this is going to be channels because we're gonna have a page that just lists my three YouTube channels. So this will be channels. Then down below we have course, which will be a little bit about one of my YouTube courses. And this one, contact is fine. 
All right, so now that we have the names of the sections done, let's go and update the buttons. So instead of work, we're going to have my YouTube channels, and this will be channels. Done. Button number two. About will be, uh, or it'll say channel, Launch roadmap is the name of the course, and then the URL will be hashtag course. And then the last button will be contact stays the same, but the label will say work with me. Done. All right, so we have my YouTube channels, channel launch roadmap, work with me. And like we did with the image, we can change the formatting of whatever we have highlighted, in this case, the buttons, by clicking on the paintbrush. So here, the first thing we have the style, right now it's an outline for a button, but we could change that to solid, so they're gray like this, but I think I like the outline better. We can adjust the width, height, do we want rounded corners like this, or pointed corners. Let's go without having rounded corners. I think that's good for the buttons. And then down below we have the social icons. So some of these I'm not gonna use. So for example, mobile, we'll get rid of. Let's change the order. We can do that by grabbing and dragging into place. So we'll start with Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Unsplash, we're gonna get rid of as well. Delete, all right, Instagram is Jeff Thalen. Twitter, same. Facebook, and update the email to, and done. All right, so the icons have been updated. Let's change the name to mine. Done. All right, home page, check. Next page, so my YouTube channels. So work, we'll say. This text we're not gonna use, I just wanna have three buttons. So let's delete the text and add a button. Okay, so it's adding buttons way down to the bottom, but we can just grab and then drag them into place to right here. And then if we, select something and hit command C, command V. We have a second one and let's paste again. Now we have three buttons. So what do we wanna do with these? Let's update them for the YouTube channels. So we're on appearance again. Let's go back to the actual button and the label will say the fig co. Paste the URL, done, all right. YouTube channel one, greater than enough. This is a personal finance channel, done. Button three is called beginning of a business where we help people get their business started. Update the URL and done. All right, so we have the text done. Let's change this image. Upload and let's use this image. Except, and there we go. That looks pretty good. Then the next section. Let's get started with the image first. Upload. Here is me using a teleprompter recording some YouTube videos, except that looks good. Done. All right, so this is going to be channel launch roadmap, done. And then instead of text here, let's get rid of it. I want a list of everything that's included in the course. So we have list, it threw it way down at the bottom. Let's move it here. And all we need to do is for each item is gonna be a separate line. So we have choose your niche, choose a channel name, create your channel and plan, and then plan the launch of your channel. Done. All right, so we have the text. One other thing that I would wanna add here is a button that would take someone to the full sales page for this course. 
All right, so here is another button. Let's just pull it down here. And let's update this one. Learn more. Copy the URL for the course, done. All right, so that looks good to me. Then the third page, we're gonna say, work with me. And then here on the work with me page, I'll ask, would you like to work one-on-one -on -one with me to grow your YouTube channel? Fill out the form below. And then this asks for name, email, message, send a message. That looks good. And then the contact done, let's update that as well. And then what do we want this to say? So they're gonna receive this after they fill out the form. I'll get back to you within 48 hours. If you don't wanna wait, you can get some great YouTube tips from our channel. And then I don't want this to say okay, I wanted to say the Fig Co YouTube channel. And then the URL is not gonna take you back to the homepage, it will take you to our YouTube channel. And boom. So within just a couple of minutes, we created an entire website. So we have the home page that'll take you to my YouTube channels page, channel launch roadmap, course summary, work with me page, we have social icons, and then we have the three pages that we created. That looks good. Click on save or publish. Add a title and description. Would you like to publish this to a card.co URL or to a custom domain? We're gonna to publish to a custom domain. We'll publish it at jjthalen.com. It's available, so to publish that custom domain, we'll need to connect these three DNS records. If you need a domain for your card website, we recommend purchasing your domain from porkbun.com. A .com domain costs $10.37, and you'll get an additional dollar off by using the link in the description. Your domain purchase includes who is privacy protection, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, and amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. First, we have an A record, host at, and then the target. So we'll go to our domain registrar. A record. This we can leave blank or use the at symbol, depending on where you purchase the domain. We'll paste what they ask us to and click on add. And then what are the next records that we need to add? So C name, www.jjthalen.com. All right, so next C name, www, paste this, add. And then the third one is also C name. Answer, paste, add. And then if we scroll down further, you can see here's the three records that we needed to add. Then I wanna go back to card and then click on publish. Done, site successfully published to jjthalen.com. It's not letting me click on this yet. I may have to just wait a couple minutes until the site is live at the custom domain. And there we go. Just a couple minutes later, the site is now live. So as you can see right now, this will be the home page where we only have this photo, my name, YouTube expert, would you like my help growing your YouTube channel, and the three links, as well as the social icons and the all rights reserved. If we click on my YouTube channels, it takes us to this page. Let's just see if all the links work. Yep, yep. And then if we click on back, it'll take us back to the home page, channel launch roadmap, Here's a summary of the course, as well as a link to the course sales page. If we click on back. And then the link to work with me, the contact page. And click on send message. And then here is the thank you page after filling out the form with the link to our YouTube channel. So how long did that take? In just a handful of minutes, we created a beautiful website using Cart. Don't forget to use porkbun.com if you need a domain or if you want to save money on a domain you already own. You can transfer your domain to Porkbun, saving you money on annual renewals. Get a dollar off a new domain and transfers by using the code thefigco24 at checkout. 
Carter is definitely one of our favorite website builders because it's so simple and easy to use. If you're curious what other website builders are out there, we have our video on the best website builders in 2024 that you can watch right here. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.